so before I start this video, I just kind of want to give you guys an update as to what's been going on, where the videos have been, and what videos are coming out here soon. Because I want to be honest with you guys, uh, life, life happens. <laughs> life happens a lot to me. I have a lot of videos that I've filmed over the past couple months. The last video that went up was actually filmed last year. Yesterday I was supposed to be finishing up all the homework and assignments that I have due this weekend. Uh, that way I'm ready for spring break and I can get back to YouTube and detailing and taking pictures of cars and all kinds of stuff that I usually enjoy doing. And then nature happened in Ohio and a tree went down at my grandparents which I'll put a picture of that up here. So that was something that took a while. <laughs> Another thing that happened is I just got more of the ceramic coating stuff in so that'll be a video coming out here soon. Well, when I say soon, it'll be a long time probably. And then the videos for the Mustang will be coming out here soon, hopefully. Uh, they'll be, it's not a, like how to, but it's just kind of, I did my clutch and how it feels now. And then I also did the shocks and struts, which are the Coney, you probably can't see them in there, but they're chilling back there. It's the Coney shocks and struts. This is the most important mod I've done to the car the whole time. Put an antenna on it. Anyway, back to what today's video is about. So the point of today's video is actually about Old Stang, which you guys haven't seen in a while. Um, I had a subscriber that was commenting about the retrofit projectors, which I'll show you those. I just put projectors into a clear corner headlight housing and then I never made a video about it after that. I did a trip to Hocking Hills and that was the last time you guys heard about it. So what I'm going to do, since I had a subscriber actually asking about it, I uh, got to thinking and I really never talked about the projectors that much. It was just kind of like a mashup of how to do it. This is going to be interesting. I haven't opened this in forever. Oh man. That was rough. This car needs a lot of love, still, <laughs> and forever. Oh, wow. This is what the wiring for the projectors look like now. Uh, this all goes, the wiring all goes back in there. Um, put my ballast there, because the first one I had over here, and it just, it got destroyed. I've gone through two sets of ballast now. First set was an old, like an older set in the inventory. So they sent me new ones and they've worked ever since. These are all tucked back in here. Um, so the actual HID kit's only plugged into this headlight, but it runs two two wires out so you can connect each one to the HID. So this one will run from here and then I ran it through here all the way across so that it plugs in. One thing I miss about this car, it's so simple. There we go. I just don't want to break anything. Ah, oh, this is the one that's actually set up right. So yeah. You got all these little wires that plug in, you get your high and low beam switches, all that. And then you have to run it to your battery, and there's a fuse for that too. Uh, I tried to make it as clean as I could. That white wire is actually for my fog lights, by the way. But yeah. So here's just a quick little rundown of how it looks under the hood. Let me put this back. I'll tell you what else is going on with Old Stang. I did have one problem actually with these projectors. Uh, this wire that you can kind of see. That one, that wire right there with the electrical tape. Yeah, I had to cut that and replace it with a new or a new wire that connected to the actual lights. Uh, basically, it was wiggling around so much. This is why I moved the ballast too. Um, it was wiggling around a bunch and then eventually it just disconnected it. So this headlight here wouldn't work for anything really. Been a lot of trial and error with the projectors, but this is what they look like. And they do still work, so that's a plus. Watch, this will be the time I turn them on, they don't work. They work. Still look good as always. I always love these. I just wish the rest of the car was done too, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. The other thing is Old Stang 
looks terrible right now. Uh, the wheels and tires are awful. The way it looks, the way it sits, I don't like it. It looks terrible. Now then, the car still runs great and yeah, works perfectly fine. Uh, it needs a new axle seal and a couple other things done to it. Just to make it perfect, uh, I got heater hoses I need to do because it's actually leaking coolant as you drive it. Should probably put some in it here soon. And again, it's only like 40 out, so. It was 74 yesterday, and today it's 40. I don't get it. But, anyways, back to the point of this video. Aside from the projectors are working great and the car's working fine, I just don't really drive it. Um, we're going to start working on it again. Now that the new Mustang is slowly get, uh, coming together, it's got the new clutch, shocks, all that stuff. Just needs a couple little things here and there. Uh, we might be doing E85, which. I mean, I just think it'd be cool to do it. It's not meant to be super fast, but I think E85 would be a fun little twist on the car. And I've never had a car with, that runs E85, so might as well do it on that one. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm going to start working on this one again in the near future once things start winding down with school. Graduation's coming up, so that'll be good. But yeah, we'll have some fun stuff in store for Old Stang here soon. I'm looking around for parts. I want to slam this thing really bad, but I want to find different wheels and tires to fill it out. Because if you can see, that doesn't fill it out very well. When you look in there, it's like tucked down into the wheel well. But we're going to fix this and the rust. So that'll be a good start. I'm going to start on underneath it too, once it warms up a little bit more. And then, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the rest of that in another video. This, today's video is mainly about the headlights. So anyways, if you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Eventually, I'll come back. Uh, videos are going to be way out of order for the next couple months, probably. <laughs> but we got a lot of car events coming up. I mean, we just went to a car show with the, with the new Mustang. It was for a good cause. Um, this video will probably come out before anything else. So this is the most recent video that you'll be seeing on the channel. It's where I'm at right now. Uh, I'll be posting the videos here when I get a chance. So hopefully you guys understand and enjoy and hit that subscribe button. We just hit 800 subscribers. Uh, we're close to 1,000 finally. <laughs> I'm still aiming for 5,000 by the end of the year, but I need it to warm up. I need more time so I can put more effort into it. I've been slacking, and I'm really sorry for that. And we'll see you in the next video. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time in it. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. I've loved the radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. Zone and I'm moving alone, I don't pick up the phone with my family call I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening Trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining All the fiction, the game is repaying We should make him think we're filming his flyby And just like talk the whole time to the camera Here it comes, do you hear it? Wow! <laughs>